Bro, it honestly like sucks to have to say this, to have to admit this, bro, but I am a wage slave. So you may ask, what is a wage slave? What is that? What does that title entail? Being a wage slave just basically means that you you're working for the sole purpose of just making money to use that to pay bills and shit. I'm not gonna lie, 99% of people are like wage slaves. But bro, I really wanna talk about how I fell into this trap. And I I honestly, like for the longest time, I placed all the blame upon myself. But what I realized, bro, I'm just a part, I'm just a result of the system of the brainwashing that has been going on I'm saying for my whole life. The fuck? Or why do my voice sound like that, bro? But the brainwashing that has been going on for my whole fucking life, our whole upbringing, we've been watching commercials, bro. Even like, be, bro, before that, going to school, bro, we were all wage slaves. We would go to school wearing our clothes. And if you don't have like the name brand designer shit on, you're going to get clowned. Like, oh, he not, he wearing regular pants. He not wearing dickies. Oh, he wearing some shacks. He not wearing Jordans. He not wearing Kobe's, LeBron's, Air Force Ones. If you're not wearing none of that, you get clown, bro. So it's like the systematic brainwashing that just fucking happens since you're a kid, bro. Since you're a kid. So in your mind, you like, man, soon as I start making money, soon as I'm able to, to buy these fancy things that's going to get me this validation and get me liked, I'm going to go do that, bro. And the thing is, like, bro, school is such a fucking trap because they don't, they want us to fall into this trap, bro. They don't teach us anything. Why don't we have, like, a finance class, bro? Telling us the ins and outs, telling us what to do and what not to do. Telling us to not fucking get credit cards and max them out. Telling us to not finance cards we can't afford. Telling us to not do things like this. We don't have classes on that, bro. Honestly, I can't even remember none of the fucking classes that I took. I don't remember any of that information none of it is valuable in the real world bro i have not seen a fucking algebra equation i haven't used none of that shit in real life bro only thing you need to do is be able to add subtract maybe multiply a little bit divide that's about it bro i honestly don't even barely use that all i use is add addition and subscribe and subtraction bro like the school bro this fucking trap they want us to fall into the trap, man. That's what I did, bro. And the other thing is, I wish my parents had done a better job at teaching me about financial things because that's something like we really didn't talk about. We just knew like, we got to make money, make money. I was actually, honestly, I don't want to place no blame on my parents, but I was really encouraged to become a wage slave, man. When I was buying my first car, I had to have a Mustang, man. I had to have a Mustang and honestly, man, my, my mom, she really, she encouraged me to get that shit, bro. She like, get that, man. You gotta have, you gotta be riding around in something nice. You know I'm saying we can't be riding around in no bummy cars. Get it, bro. You only live once type shit. Like that was like real positive uplift, uh, uplifting energy. That's something that I wanted to hear because I did want the fancy things, bro. But now that I'm knowledgeable on life and shit, how life work, bro, in time, and freedom i'm knowledgeable about things that i really wanted out of life bro that was really a bad decision to make and now that i and i think back on it man my grandpa he was trying to give me a free car bro free no payments a free car it was old i ain't gonna lie it was like a some random 1980s car i don't know bro but that bitch ran that bitch ran bro how long was it going to run? I don't know, but I could have fucking took that and ran it into the grave, bro, because it's a free car, bro. But instead, bro, I went straight to the payments, man. When you're young, your headspace is just like in the wrong spot unless you've been fucking brought up the right way and taught the right way, man. That was my first step into wage slavery, man. I got my first job. I couldn't afford the car, right? Because I was making like $300, $400 maybe like every two weeks honestly i was just working part-time so i really couldn't even i didn't even save up enough money to buy the car so i went straight to the bank and i got my first loan and i bought this car the first step of me falling into wage slavery why am i a wage slave now because i have a car payment now so that means i have to work in order so i can pay off and drive this car that's step one man that's how i fell into it 
And then, and then I just, I wanted to live beyond my means. I wanted to do things. I wanted to go to concerts, festivals. I wanted to upgrade my car. I ended up getting a new car after I totaled this first car. So it was like so many fucking things, bro. Living beyond my means just so I can be viewed a certain way. I wanted to be viewed like I had money. I was above when I really didn't, bro. I really didn't. I was fucking financing that shit. Swipe, 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 swipe. Oh, I'll pay it later. When you realize, like, bro, you really, you probably not going to pay that shit later. And it's just going to be, become something that's just sucking your life. Something that you got to keep on paying on for years and years and years. And it sucks to say, like, bro, I fell into the wage, the wage slavery trap, man. Bro, man, if you young and watching this and you have, like, no bills and you have no money, like, bro, I would kill to be in that position again, bro. I would kill to be in that position because it's like, it's freedom, bro. You, I want you to realize, bro, if you're young and broke right now, but you have no bills, you are free. Stay in that spot, bro. Stay in that spot because you don't have to become a slave. You don't need that many things to survive. If you want to get your own place, cool. That's going to be a bill that's going to be okay. If you live by yourself, that might be a thousand a month. Boom, right there. Then you have to work. You got you to have a phone. That might be, I don't know, $70, $100, $100 a month. That's $1,100 right there, bro. But if you save up and just buy things, like, bro, I'm, I'm going to give like a brief, a brief explanation of what I would do, bro. I would stay in my parents' house, work and stack up, bro. When I, when I got my first job, I was just thinking of things to buy, bro. Saving, that wasn't even in my brain. I'm like, bro, I got, I got $300 right now. I'm fucking balling. And the thing is, bro, $300 do feel like you balling when you don't have no obligations, nothing to pay, bro. It feels good when you make that $300 check and it's all yours. When you're a wage slave, I became like I am right now, bro. I can make $1,500, $2,000, bro. And guess what? I gotta fucking, I gotta, I gotta pay. I gotta pay bills. I gotta pay credit card debt. I gotta pay some loans back. I gotta pay for my car. I gotta pay car insurance. I gotta pay rent it's like so much shit bro and you making the money and it's not even yours bro it can really become fucking draining it can really become draining bro this vid is really i don't know it's not even structured for real but i just wanted to kind of give like my story and my insights on wage slavery bro because that's how they because that's how they honestly <laughs> That's how they honestly fucking trap us, dude. Bro, this is how they trap us in this game. Because they, growing up, they convince us that we need so many things in order to be happy. But, bro, all you really need is some, a little bit of food, water, bro. Food, water, purpose. All this other shit, bro, is unnecessary. But you think it's so necessary, so you go get it all because that's what everybody else in society do. Everybody else finances a car. Everybody else finances the home everybody else gets in debt you just follow and do what they do because it's normal it's tough bro it's tough i probably make like another video on i'm gonna make a lot more videos on wage slavery because this video was unscripted it was all over the place but i just wanted to talk about this shit real quick man and i just wanted you to know bro you don't have to be a slave man don't rush shit don't rush shit bro fuck a credit card when you get paid, you working your little job. If you're working at Taco Bell or something right now, you're not making much money and you want to go do things, just realize you can't do it right now. You can't go to that music festival right now, bro. You got to save up more. You got to make more income. But what, when I was young, man, I just said, fuck it, I am. I'm still young. But I was like, bro, no, I got to go to this fucking festival. I got to make this happen. I don't give a fuck if I got to swipe my credit card, nigga. I don't give a fuck, I gotta put it on Afterpay. Like, I'm going. And that's cool. That's all fine and dandy. And it's all cool instant gratification, but it's not cool. You gotta fucking go to work all day just to pay off some old shit, man. So, yeah, I'm done, Redden, bro. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.